battle for the Golden Egg saw the Bulldogs rise to the occasion before the largest audience ever to witness the curtain closer for the regular season. As the teams took the field on that sunny showered afternoon, it was apparent that this one would be a fight. The Rebels were high and made a game of it for a couple of quarters. But the Mississippi State Bulldogs refused to let them score. They stole passes, denied quarterback Jim Ellis time to throw effectively, and were there to pounce on Ole Miss mistakes. In the second half, the Rebels struck first, so the Bulldogs snatched another fumble. Rocky and friends raced downfield, and Walter Packer scampered 29 yards to even things up. In the fourth period, Felker started off a state 77-yard drive that resulted in a 20-yard field goal by Vic Nichols to give State a margin of three points. Then, like the little boy who pulled his finger out of the dike, Jim Ellis left one fly into the hands of Steve Freeman, who stepped out of bounds on the nine and set up a flood of state scores. It started two plays later when Felker jumped into the end zone, making it state 17, Ole Miss 7. On the Bulldogs' next possession, Felker engineered a 50-yard drive in four plays, climaxed by a Packer pitch out for the touchdown. Less than 15 seconds later, State smothered an Ellis fumble, and Delco went right back to work. This time, a toss to Melvin Barkham on the sideline, danced down to the eight-yard line, set up the final scoring for the Bulldogs on a run by Delco. Just five minutes and 12 seconds, Mississippi State had cashed in 21 more points and left the bearers of the now lift rebel flags thinking about next year. As the crowd watched the other team struggle for one more score, it was time for Bulldogs to think about their day in the Sun Bowl in an eight and three season. But this was also a time to think back to the individual players and their coaches who had come so far in 12 weeks.